Right, hello, Mr. Newman here. So we're back in Dragon Ball C. <coughs> Dragon Ball C Tenkaichi Tag Team for the PlayStation Portable or PSP. We'll control, uh, continue the story mode. Play this back in October or September, I believe October. Let's continue. Or maybe it was in, in July 2021, actually. Okay, we'll continue. Play some more. We are up against Vegeta. So we have played Unknown Warrior from another planet. Go on and Demon King Piccolo. We played The Saiyans Arrive. And uh, no, actually, we haven't played all of these. I'm surprised. Ultimate Decis Decisive Battle. Let's go for it. Leave that the one against Vegeta, you'll see, otherwise we'll exit. No, that wasn't correct. You'll see, we'll start it up. Maybe this isn't the vanilla game. Maybe I started a mod. Yeah, this is very weird in the story mode. But I don't know if this is the vanilla game or a mod, we'll see. <coughs> so we can fight against some Saber men. We can do a I can we have the map of course. We can either bring it up on R2 or on L2. <coughs> we can charge our energy Get on on the square do Kaioken on triangle okay I don't remember where I switched the character so I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller when I play this game using an emulator. Oh, they can attack me and charge. Okay, so we are f facing two Cybermen. It's Son Goku. Adult Son Goku. It's been a while since I played. The controls are the same as in the PlayStation 2 game. But the controller might have uh, different buttons currently. I'm not sure. Sometimes that happens when I connect it again and restart the emulator that uh, the buttons are not correct yeah I think the buttons are uh, block on circle fire on square yeah that's true how it should be. We sh should be able to charge on X. I will check that too. Otherwise, I might need to adjust the uh, controls. So we won against the Cyberman there. Ah, on, on uh, triangle. Uh, no, on circle we can charge. On triangle we do the kick. Yeah, I believe the buttons are correct. Maybe not all, I'm not sure. So you want to 
play through the story mode of the original Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team game. I never finished this game in the past, but I have played up until the Boo Saga. The Boo Saga. Majin Boo. Which is the last saga of the game, but I never finished it. One again against two Cybermen. Kill off all the Cybermen before we face off against Vegeta. To gain maximum experience and rewards. So, I'm not very good at the game right now. I used to be very good with the PlayStation 2 game in the past. When you haven't played in a while, of course you're gonna be worse. Two other Cybermen. They are quite numerous, the Cybermen. It's good. That way I will learn how to play again. Can switch the target to on L2, I believe. One, but I wasn't happy with that fight. Really need to learn how to do all the attacks and such again. Otherwise, it will be a problem facing off against real enemies like Vegeta. I have a bad habit of always uh, watching all the videos that I upload to YouTube. Uh, in the future I will try to not do that and instead I will only uh, f f uh, go through them very very fast and like uh, to make sure that nothing is missing and such but I won't watch the entire video that way I will uh, save time otherwise it takes uh, the same time to watch it as, as it took playing it. <coughs> so I can upload more videos each day, I think. If I don't do not watch my videos. Usually I'm, I'm excited to know, you know, uh, how I sound and such in the video. Problem with uh, using English language in the videos is that it's my second language and uh, I'm not always happy with the uh, result. So we need to take care of the Cybermen. Uh, I, I feel like I always need to keep a certain standard and that's difficult sometimes, especially when I, I'm tired. As my vocabulary in English is not very good when I'm tired. So it's possible to block those beams by clicking on circle uh, when they fire them. It's also possible to teleport away when they attack if you click on the block button at the right moment. 
I am not sure I will be able to do it. Ah, took care of the Cyberman with those ordinary beams. Ah, here we have uh, one of the masters, I believe. Uh, don't remember if he his name Kaiyu Kami or no, I think Kami is the uh, second half of Pic of Piccolo. This is someone else. Let's speak to him. <coughs> Goku, Piccolo died and Kami disappeared too. We can't use the Dragon Balls anymore. Darn. Right. The red circle there is Vegeta. We'll only go there when we're taking care of everyone else. Here we have Cyberman to fight. Dude, we took one of those big ones. Good. Hit him with the Kamehameha beam. So I'm not sure if, if the um, the buttons are entirely correct. We won against those two. Here we have two others. There are a lot of grinding in this story mode. in a combo there. We managed to teleport. Alright, we won. So when playing this game on the emulator it's 10 times uh, it has 10 times the resolution of the PSP or PlayStation Portable. It has 10 times better graphics. Okay, uh, let's Check this area, Goku. Hey, is someone there? <coughs> Boy, go away, monster. Huh? Who? Sorry, I thought you were a monster. Recently, there's been a white monster around here that's been attacking towns one after another. Goku, a white monster? That may be one of Vegeta's men. So, I better take care of this. All right, I'll defeat that monster for you. I wonder what monster that is. White monster. One of Vegeta's men. Ah, here we have some Cybermen to fight. They are not white, they are blue. Thank you. 
will take a while until I get good at this game again. I feel totally off when it comes to the moves and such. Two more Cybermen down. Here we have a grey one. Maybe they are the white monsters. They are grey. Grey is or white. Grey white. I don't know. This didn't go well. Now this game will get really hard later, so uh, that's why I'm worried because I do not have the, s the skills currently in the game. I do not feel any good in it. And I don't like fighting two as one, but they are weak, those guys, but we will still probably lose this round. Fucking shit! My fingers started to hurt. Yeah, these are the white monsters. They are stronger than the others. But they also were lucky in the beginning. They got in. They managed to do a, quite a few combos too. We will lose this one. Ah! Revenge! Perfect! Fuck. One is out. Now the next one. Fuck! Hit when he attacked me from behind. It's very hard to stop that from from going on. But we won. Good. Yeah, they were more difficult. I also messed up in the beginning. Yo, I took care of that white monster. You don't have to worry anymore. Boy, huh? You, you mean it? You're amazing, mister. No, it was nothing. Well then, I'm off. Fight of uh, Vegeta soon. Just need to double check that we haven't missed anyone. Oh, we have the turtle here. Comes an in's turtle. Or Master Roshi's turtle. Master Roshi, hum, Goku, it looked like you came back to life, alright. Oh, yeah, thanks to you. Bulma. Goku, you're going to fight the Saiyans now, right? Y you can beat them, yes? Well, I, I won't know until I try, but I'll do everything I can. Bulma, I I'm counting on you. Alright. 
Now uh, we're back, it comes in inspire. Alright, it's time to go and face with Yita. He will be difficult to defeat. Oh, we are fighting both Vegeta, Scout Vegeta, and a Cyberman. We need to take out the Cyberman first. Fuck you. Vegeta were always my favorite character after he arrived in story. Before that I liked Piccolo the most. And then when Android 18 came of course uh, I started to like her too. Uh, but Vegeta is still my favorite character in Dragon Ball Z. Them with the Kamamaha. I like that they comment during the battle too. Oh, he blocked my attack there. It's possible to block like that. If you click block at the right moment, they will just avoid all the attacks, all the physical attacks. Right. Need to charge up my energy. Shit, he blocked the attack. By the way, view skill data. Kaiken is L plus uh, circle, I see. the actual cake and attack. That's L and uh, I see one of the rotation buttons and uh, triangle. Can't do the Kaiken attack when we're in Kaiken mode for some reason. Had to, it didn't have enough energy. Fuck you, Vegeta. I don't 
remember how to do it. Cyberman showed up from nowhere I need to f switch the focus to the Cyberman and take him out Finn a shot You won, good Yeah, I need to relearn how to do the Kaioken and such Otherwise, we will have problems later in the game. We shouldn't play at stand against Vegeta, so we only needed to stand against him. Goku. Ha! 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 Oh, okay. He's still alive, but I wouldn't have any trouble if that was enough to kill him. Krillin and Gohan. Son Gohan. Come house is just a little further. Hang in there, Gohan. Kid go on. O okay. Brillen. Hmm. What is that? There's an incredible key rising. I got a bad feeling about this. Kid go on. D Dad! I I'm going back. Kid go on. I can tell. My dad is in trouble. He's going to get killed. Brillen. B but there's nothing we can do against a powerful key like that. Kid go on. Yeah, I know. They have to go. Start mission, defeat Vegeta and save Goku. So you can control um, Gohan now. Son Gohan, the son of Son Goku. We can also control Krillin. We can switch between them. Prefer Krillin. Okay, let's speak to the turtle. Oh, so Master Roshi says, Oh, go on, and Krillin, you're safe. Hmm, what happened to Goku? Krillin, Goku is still fighting. He came back here, so we wouldn't get in his way. Kigwan, but I'm going to back to help my dad. I can tell, my dad's in trouble, so I'm going. Master Roshi, okay, I understand, I won't stop you. Whatever you do, don't die, go on. We'll fight the Cyberman, of course, before we go to Vegeta. And we can switch between Gohan and uh, Krillin, which is good. And the other one will always be controlled by the AI, so we won't be alone in the fight, which is nice. We already played as Gohan in the first episode, I believe. <coughs> Play this uh, Piccolo Goku. I believe we switched between Piccolo and Goku against Raditz, and then we played Gohan and uh, uh, Piccolo against Nappa, I believe, and Son Goku. <coughs> so this is the first time we play as Krillin, I believe. So in any mod of this game, Dragon Ball Z Tengage Tag Team, uh, I believe that the story will be messed up if they change the characters of the actual VS mode. So usually the mods will change all, all the characters and evolutions to add new characters into the game. Oh, we're, we're facing two other uh, red Cybermen. Uh, and uh, in the mods that means that also the characters in, in the story will be changed. Which is, is a little bit weird. So I want to play the vanilla game when I play the story. And then we will play mods uh, in VS mode. We'll start with the story of the original game. Die. We kill.
killed him with the Kamehameha beam, which is good. Care of all the <coughs> Cybermen. Fuck, we missed. <coughs> yeah, we missed that one. So the PSP or PlayStation Portable has good graphics. It had like uh, PlayStation 2 graphics, uh, but the PlayStation 2 was uh, slightly more powerful. I believe in the PS2 games, uh, the the models would uh, move their mouths and such. But in in this game, the uh, for the PlayStation Portable, they won't move their mouths when talking. Also, I believe that the PS2 enabled the models to show damage and such uh, so so the PSP was slightly weaker because of the emulator we have uh, 10 times as good resolution as I said at the beginning of the video uh, but that doesn't change the fact that the models can't move their mouths and such so it's still not as good the, the game as uh, PlayStation 2 the PlayStation 2 version in that sense the graphics were slightly better in, in on the PlayStation 2, but only slightly. This game is still better than the PS2 games because it has two versus two battles. Well, the PS2 game only had one versus one. So we need to charge up our energy. out with the Kamehameha so this game reminds me of the SNES game or Super Nintendo game there is a Dragon Ball Z role playing game for the SNES or Super Nintendo uh, where you move on the map like that and then you you fight uh, battles used like this, but that game only has, I believe, uh, the Saiyan Saga, maybe the Freezer Saga, I'm not sure. But uh, this one has all the way up until the end of Dragon Ball Z and the Buu Saga, so this is grander. And also the battles there are turn-based with some kind of card system. Uh, you play with cards. Well, this game obviously has fighting mechanics, so I prefer this game. Also, this game has way better graphics because it's a later game. I believe the other game is from 1995 or something. 93, 94 or 95. But this is from 2010, so it's much more recent. Alright. Let's see what, what we can see in this day. Kid, go on. I don't have time to get sidetracked. I have to go back to help my dad. All right. I believe this game is very popular on uh, Latin American, uh, uh, f uh, I believe, uh, sites and forums. I believe uh, Latin America is uh, Dragon Ball crazy, and uh, they love this game because you can play it uh, on the Android phone using the same emulator as for the PC, but I believe it's as an Android version of the emulator. It's the same emulator, but uh, made for the phone instead of the computer. So I'm playing on the computer, obviously. They also have an Android phone with the emulator too, but I prefer playing on the computer. But yeah, they can play with friends using the emulator on the phone. It's possible to play on the same computer as well. Then you need a friend to be with you locally. Uh, well, with the phone, of course, you can use the Wi-Fi of the phone. 
believe it's possible also to play online over the computer, but more difficult to set up, I believe. And I will only play the game single player, unless I have someone locally to play against. Yeah, the graphics are really nice. Now when we have uh, the emulator. Fuck, we missed. Good, we won. Cybermen we need to defeat. Here we had two more. I'm willing to play quite a bit here. Yeah. Everything with Vegeta. And until the Namek saga should be played. finished there still a bit um, insecure about the controls for other specials than the Kamamaha let's go here keep going when Piccolo died Kami disappeared too you can no longer bring back everyone with the Dragon Balls Krillin no there might still be a way. You don't want, eh? What are you talking about, Krillin? Krillin, I'll explain later. If you don't defeat Vegeta, my plan won't matter anyway. Alright. Here we have two more. Probably four. Yeah, we took the one. There, yeah, the big one. Charge up our energy. Take out this Cyberman. And we have won. Good. Two others attacked. I like Krillin's moveset. He's easy to use. His size also makes him harder to hit, probably. He's still slightly bigger than the Cyberman. Before I could hit them with the Kamehameha. I just want to do something else, like destruct the disc, but I'm not sure how to do it. Ah, another Cyberman. Let's fight those two as well. I like in this game that we have two versus two. 
not that they it's not a tag battle where they jump in and out so for example you play one at a time and the other one is out of the battle but instead they all all four fight at the same time i really like that so i've downloaded a, a, a whole lot of different mods for this game but i don't want to play any of them before I finish the story mode of the original game and when we are done with the story mode we will try the tournament and some battles in VS mode we will watch some battles with the unlocked characters I already made a video with the ones we have from the start but I want to watch the others too the ones that are not available at the start and then we will move to the mods and play or watch there as well had them. So we'll preview a bunch of different mods for this game. For now let's finish the story mode. We will only play the story mode of the original, not the mods. Fuck, you missed. Come on, Krillin! Cyberman's going down. beams there. We blocked that attack and took him out. Good. Might be more Cybermen lurking around. Want to take out all of them before we fight Vegeta. Ah, here we have two. Krillin is really nice to play as. He's not the strongest character in the game, but in the early game he's certainly stronger than the Cyberman and has uh, easy moves to pull off. Post the game, view skill tree. Kamamaha is uh, L plus triangle. Spread energy blast L plus rotational button plus triangle. I think they are hard to pull off. Ah, up uh, rotational button up and triangle. And chain destructor disc barrage is rotational button down and triangle. I will have to try. Uh, difficult need maximum health wrong attack all right we won the battle probably need to use train mode to learn how to do the attacks properly special attacks It'll be easier if I can do them. Ah, two other Cybermen. Sometimes they, they are beaten too fast.
might also be that the controller is not correct, that some, some of the buttons are not as they should, which might be why it's difficult to do this. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. So I'm charging on L2. That's not the attack I wanted to do. Yeah, I really need how to learn. I really need uh, to learn how to do the others. I don't know how to do the rotational button thing. And uh, sir, uh, triangle and square might be wrong. You need to play on an emulator. So I might need to adjust the controls too. Had quite a lot of energy, the red bar over there. All right, maybe it's just with G to left now, we'll see. Yeah, I think we have defeated everyone. No, here we have two. We'll defeat them too. Here we have Goku. We need to take care of these Cybermen first. Solar frail when I hit the circle, that will blind them. X is charging. It's not good enough. Ah, go and took him out. Yeah, I will do the training mode after I've done with this part of the story mode because I want to able to do all the special attacks. Now let's go to Goku. Well, what a surprise. You brought little brat. So you came to watch his last moments. Wait there. Once I father, it'll be your turn next. Ah, now we face off against Vegeta. Scouter Vegeta. He is already damaged. In this game, of course, they can be damaged from the start of the battle, but uh, they do not change their look during the battle. In the PlayStation 2 game, uh, they started off as not damaged, and then uh, if they got uh, hit by a Kamamaha or something, they their their appearance would be changed so they could change from one model to another during the battle which was pretty cool in the second Tenkaichi game they removed that feature from the third one and it wasn't in the first I believe that's why I think the second game looks the best and also it had the best story mode but the third game had more characters Charge up the energy. Fuck, we missed. Hit with the Kamamaha, but that's not the one I had hoped to do. Oh, 
Mission clear defeat Vegeta and save Goku. Vegeta scatter. Ah, uh, yeah, go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Brilliant. Th this guy is ridiculous. Is he immortal? Ah, he's gonna retreat now. Vegeta scatter. I impossible. How could I force to retreat? Krillin, he's headed for that spaceship. I won't let you escape. This is for everyone who was killed. Die! Goku, wait! Krillin, Goku? Goku, Krillin, I had to ask you this, but please let him go. Krillin, uh, are you crazy, Goku? Goku, I, I can't ex explain it. But seeing him just about to die, I thought, what a waste. Krillin, uh, a waste? Goku, in the end, I must say in too. It's in my blood. Goku, I'll definitely get stronger than Vegeta and defeat him myself next time. Goku, I know I'm wrong, but please. Krillin, okay, you earned the right to be a little selfish. If it weren't for you, the Earth wouldn't have been saved. Listen, Goku. Next time you better not hold anything back. Goku, ah. It is gather. Decisive battle cleared. Okay, uh, so we cleared the stage, we defeated the mutated enemies, and we survived the battle. It's uh, no, we didn't do that. So we could have uh, played a suit, you know, that's why I thought it might have been a mod. So we could replay this the earlier missions with the different characters and uh, play this as. Uh, I don't really want that. Let's continue the story. Even though I think this is a good uh, next episode. Uh, so uh, I guess we will end the episode here. I need to try and learn how to do the specials too. So we'll go back. And. Uh, we have uh, a lot of D points. That means that I probably loaded a cheated save. That's very weird. Because I had a save where I hadn't cheated, where I that I thought I were loading. Um, in the worst case, if, if I can still load it, I, I might need to replay it, what I just played. Then I won't record it. Uh, anyway. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode which will be Planet Namek. Okay, bye.